was texting a friend of mine this morning and I asked them like, hey, I couldn't come up with any ideas of what to cook and I asked them for an idea. And their response was, well, I don't cook that much, I bake, so bake. do that. I'm like, I, 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 don't, I don't bake. And their response was, are you scared? We're oh. baking. <laughs> <laughs> Box brownies, yes, get over it. Ryan doesn't bake. So, <laughs> what we're gonna do today is a fudge chipotle brownie in an ugly jump smoker. And we're gonna do them in muffin styles. If you wonder what Ryan's house smells like, go to the bolt food section, open up the chipotle bin of chili mix, stick your nose in it. Not that, that bad. I have been using a lot of it recently. <laughs> I haven't been home in like two weeks, so it doesn't smell like that anymore. <laughs> That's true. I stopped by and said hi to your wife and my kids. Fair enough. Maybe that means it'll be tall. <laughs> we need a spoon. Hi, we have a spoon. That was literally like, shut the door and there we were. <laughs> 2,000 subscribers. Somebody's going to get stabbed. You should know that was going to happen. All right, so... Regular box instructions, what we're gonna do, this one calls for a quarter cup water, half a cup of oil, and two eggs. I'm gonna use Oh really? Yeah, you can start. I have a mixer, and there's an outlet right there. So I don't like using mixers with stuff I like this because it makes them chewy. How else do you want a brownie? Well, crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That's what brownies do. Like, like well, not burnt on the outside, but like some crisp, right? And to this, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of chipotle powder. So what this is, I get it from H-E-B, and it's jalapenos that have been roasted and dried and then ground up. It's similar to um, chili powder, but chili powder uses um, Anchos? Yes, I think it is anchos. I'm probably wrong on that. Nathan will probably be the one to tell me that I'm wrong too. That's true. You better text yeah. Nick and ask, ask Nick what what's in it. You'll saw these in the frittata video. These are just aluminum foil cups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try two without the paper. I'm going to do two. It's almost as thick as my coffee. Two. Probably throw just two in there. This isn't something that we normally do, right? We don't normally do a dessert type right. of item. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that we should do this once a quarter, once a month. And in our desserts, I would like us to do, wait for it, Granny Smith apple pie. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna let the smoker get up the temperature. We're gonna cook these at about 325, 350-ish. Kind of a tight range, but you know, cooking on the grill. Um, what's weird about, what, not weird, but what's good about this is chocolate and chili is a really popular, really kind of classic pairing. Really? So, yeah, extremely. Um, so this should come out hopefully pretty well. I was going to say if it's extremely, then I haven't heard of it. Maybe it's not as popular as he thinks it is. It is popular. He's saying things, but I don't think they mean what he thinks it is. Right, so, whenever we open this, what you're going to notice is there's going to be a heat deflector in there. Really all that is is the old Weber kettle walks that they're stainless steel, everything sticks to them. They're kind of horrible for a walk, but they're amazing for a heat deflector in a 22 or in a drum. How the heat deflector works is as the heat's coming up, it kind of helps spread it around a little bit more evenly. We'll get more even cooking. Um, I don't normally worry about it whenever I'm cooking meats because it's close enough, but baking, I don't bake. So we're all on this ride together. See you on 20 minutes. These have been going for about 45 minutes to an hour. They've gotten really thick, so that's why they're taking so long. <laughs> oh, son. Little gooey, whenever we pull them out because they're still sitting in the pan, they should finish out. Should be good. We'll see y'all back whenever they've cooled off and we pull them out and give them a try. All right, Brownie's on a drum smoker with a little bit of this. With a little bit of this. 
What is this? This is a legend. legend, or okay. legend. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, actually. Okay, so. I just licked out the batter from the um, bowl, so my mouth has got a little spice to it. Hmm. Not a lot of spice, but it's definitely, there's a little bit in there. Those look great. They do. I was kind of uh, hoping for molten in well, the middle. Well, we haven't opened it yet, so. That Might actually be. looks nicely done. It's nice and crispy on top. Bottom looks nice and soft. Mm. Mm -hmm. That looks nice and spongy. It is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dude. <laughs> you nailed that. <laughs> oh my god. You nailed that. I baked it in a, in a drum. That is what a brownie is <laughs> supposed to be like. It's supposed to be thicker than cake. Not as dense as cookie, obviously. Have a little bit of crisp on the outside, but once you get into the middle of it, it's supposed to have that nice uh -huh. consistency. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, look, there's a little bit of heat now. Uh huh. Mm hmm. That's good. That was good. <laughs> Remember, Chipotle, in everything that you do, it's a food group. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> that and garlic, we're good. All right. Here's. Until next time, Fire and Learn. That even really goes really well with it too. This one gets better with the water, but each time I taste it, it gets better. <laughs>